Iridium sitting here with Jordan Glasgow, Senior Product Designer at Avid. You focus on a lot of interop, and you're responsible for a lot of the really incredible things that we saw in Pro Tools 10. Is that right? That's right. I, uh, I look after a lot of the post-production and broadcast features in Pro Tools, uh, specifically trying to make Pro Tools work better with the other Avid video products, whether it's Media Composer, ISIS Shared Storage, or Avid Interplay Asset Management System and really try and streamline those workflows for audio posts and broadcast customers. So in that world, there's, um, you know, they're, they're dealing with a lot of different factors like the enormous track counts and managing data and managing uh, samples maybe across, um, maybe in a smaller network, maybe across networks across the globe. Um, in, in the challenges that are coming up with, um, with, 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 as technology progresses, um, what are the challenges that they're faced with now that you're trying to solve for? You know, the biggest challenge that I see is just people have less time to get the job done, especially in audio, which typically happens at the end of the chain. So we are always looking for ways to streamline the workflows, make it faster for people to get audio and video into Pro Tools, do their jobs. Um, one of the things that we did recently was allow you to bring markers from Media Composer over into Pro Tools. It's a really amazing tool for video editors to be able to communicate notes to the audio editor directly in the sequence. And you can just see it. It shows up right as a marker in your Pro Tools session. Uh, you can bring over plugins and automation, surround tracks, all from Media Composer into Pro Tools. Clip gain now in Pro Tools 10. So all of these things really help the audio editor get the job done faster and spend more time being creative rather than time spent dealing with the import process. There's, there's a recent announcement about support for a, an expansion chassis, I believe. Can you give us some details about that? Yeah, that's right. So uh, we just announced support for the Magma uh, Thunderbolt chassis. It's the Express Box 3T or EB3T. It's a really great uh, chassis from Magma. It holds three HDX cards allows you to use Pro Tools HDX uh, with your Mac Pro laptop. So you can create a very portable Pro Tools HDX system, totally flexible, totally portable, and uh, it's great. It's $979. and um, Available now. Available now from Magma, supported with Pro Tools 10.3.3. Is that only compatible with MacBook Pros? Can we use that also with, with iMacs and Mac Minis? It's a MacBook Pro only for now. Um, probably will work with the others, but the MacBook Pro is the only one that we've officially tested. So it's qualified. Excellent. Yeah. Um, well, it's nice to talk to you here. Thanks for, uh, it's awesome to see you at the show. Yeah, you too, Tony. And uh, Always a pleasure. also, you know, good luck tonight. We were up for some tech awards. Pro Tools 10 is up for a tech award. So good luck. Thank you. We're going to find out later. Tune in. Um, Thanks for joining us here online. For more information about the chassis, you can go to, is it magma.com? Correct. Go to magma.com. And for more information about Pro Tools 10, you can go to avid.com forward slash Pro Tools. So thanks again for joining us here with Jordan and me. We will see you online.